When you're using the hip hook, you may find a need for using other tools like heat and ice to support your healing process. Heat is a great thing to place right on the area of the hip flexor to help support softening and bringing circulation to that area. So right in the front of the pelvic bone, right in front of the hip and the groin area, applying some heat to that area or even taking a warm bath or shower prior to using the hip hook will allow that muscle to soften quite a bit and allow you to get a little bit deeper. Um, if you are experiencing a lot of sensation, pain, discomfort when using the hip hook, which is very, very common the very first times you use it, you know, you're basically pressing on a muscle that has not been pressed on or touched its entire existence. And it's probably been upset or injured for a very long time. So when you initially put pressure on it, um, or if it's really inflamed, you may find that you need to help assist the inflammatory process, and that's when ice is very useful. So you can place it right, basically right where the tip is, um, and you can do that right after you have used the hip hook. Another thing that happens with people is that um, because of this tension in that muscle, um, I've got my little skeleton here, <clears throat> Because of tension in that muscle pulling, you know, you imagine if this is a rubber band and it's pulling tight, it's going to tug at its attachment points. It's got one attachment point here and then the other attachment point here near the groin. So this can develop into what's considered a tendonitis and it's an inflammation of where the muscle connects to the bone. So if you're experiencing a lot of kind of burning, um, kind of searing pain that is up here or down here in the groin, it could be that that tension is actually creating a tendonitis here. And this would be perfect spots to use ice as well. Um, and, and you know, eventually as you release the tension here in this muscle, then it's not pulling on these two attachment points anymore. And then those, those, those you know, points have an opportunity to heal. But during that process, we do want to address the symptom and we do want to give those areas the best chance of healing.